textbook scan pictures are not allowed uh, due to copyrights uh, of the vendor because if we have all these copies of all these images and then if there is enough to make up a book then it's actually very disadvantageous for the vendor uh, or the textbook publisher so one way we can overcome this uh, so the, the, the way to do it is we have to remove all these images but as a value add service uh, in SRS, you may want to convert this type of material into uh, non-copyrighted materials. So this picture is created by me, the simulation is created by me. So since I allow it to be used uh, by anyone, so therefore you will have no problem putting this in SRS. Uh, so it typically it will be uh, almost like the same example. So, so the first one is they start off with an example to tell the student to point to draw this particular hand of the minute to 9.15 and then subsequently it goes on to do, it, to do the other timing so B so in B I have created a quiz so I use uh, the, this particular feature called star resources this is very useful so if I star it then I can actually duplicate this very quickly I, I actually also star the resource but uh, actually I think this is not necessary lah. so I just want to star the, the quiz because the star the quiz allows me to very quickly duplicate the the quiz so let me come here let me come here and show you how i can quiz this so this is the quiz i already started so i created this uh, using a particular simulation that i've made so in this simulation i do a hand height to get rid of the hand the minute hand and then to show the hand so i create a series of images to do as the question as well as the feedback so how I did it was I come to edit so I quickly um, I quickly star it and then I create all these uh, hints so I will tell the student to notice the suggested answer I will paste an image of the correct answer and then I'll do a feedback okay so how I do it is I, I will show you uh, step by step so I am doing let's say uh, F so in F is a 440 with this thing here. So I really pre-made 440. Okay, I did do a screen series of screenshots, uh, two screenshots. So I will come back here. I will do uh, I will show you how easy it is to do. So the first trick you do is you add component. So don't add any of this, neither do you change the display. You do a uh, add by existing and then you do by star resource. And then you will see that your resource is actually trapped here. So I'll add it. And then very quickly, it's the same duplicate. It's like a copy and paste function uh, in SRS, but this is at the at the question at the quiz level. So I will now uh, come here, edit, and then uh, I will have the question body unchanged, and then I will delete this uh, image away as at, as the pre-populated because I want the student to uh, edit. Uh, that means draw on my on my picture. So I will do a uh, upload. I did not do star because these are brand new uh, resources uh, and, and star has to be done strategically la, because the star obviously has a limit of 300. So I, I will typically add the media uh, title and then I'll make it more use, more searchable, maybe 440 clock, you know, something like that. To make it more searchable, then uh, typically some, some typical uh, keyword text to make it more searchable for the benefit of others so this will be the pre-populated image of which the student then when they view it as a student they can edit it and then they can add the hand uh, you know 440 okay they can add the hand here themselves and then after they add the hand the, the suggested answer will then point them to the hint which is a uh, point eight and then uh, we will then also give a uh, image typically to guide the student because uh, they seeing the image will probably be easier i'll upload a new image and i'll add the correct answer as a feedback again i may want to uh, tag it so i will tag the url so this is for uh, i noticed that double dot actually doesn't work if we try to save as a media title lah. so you you can't do the tag you can't change that that dot to a to a double dot lah. so the double dot will be done here lah, okay and then always make it downloadable okay because these images are free for use on the internet and then finally of course the feedback that you may want to give so uh, tell the student a series of uh, like rubrics like that lah. so it's a feedback 
So now notice that the, the clock has to end at 8 with a pointer like a symbol like an arrow and typically the minute hand has to be longer than the hour hand. So now these are some of the hints and then uh, you, you may want to uh, include this. So you that click save and there you have it. You have very quickly uh, basically copy and paste uh, from something like this, you know, something like this, converting uh, textbook images into uh, SLS where we use the uh, free response and then after that we use a pre-populated I use a pre-populated answer for student to add the, the lines up in order to indicate the, the time. So this is one way you can actually help uh, the community gallery or in fact you can also make your own lessons uh, more interesting rather than taking images from textbook uh, which is actually a copyright infringement.